guys, it's GamerAmer here. So as we continue this brand new year, I thought that it would be a great time to go ahead and talk about the top 10 items that I am hoping to find this upcoming year in 2021. So I have a list together. Now these are not the all time most expensive items that I will keep my eyes out for, but these are just some of the items that I have been wanting for quite some time some that are a little bit more pricey and some that are on the cheaper end but just ones that i have not been able to find out there with constantly searching and hopefully this upcoming year i can at least knock a few of these off and if i can't then these will be my lifetime goals of hopefully adding some of these pretty amazing items to my game collection so let's go ahead and check it out So of course, along with some upcoming channel goals of adding some more subscribers and just keep pumping out that content and adding more videos a week, I would love to add these top 10 items to my game collection and hopefully I can do that sooner rather than later. But of course, I am holding out on some of these items for some pretty amazing deals as I don't like to just spend all of my money on some of these particular items. So first up, now these are in no particular order, but this one was one that I first thought about, and that is that Jungle Green Nintendo 64 Donkey Kong box. So of course I have my personal Jungle Green Nintendo 64 console from my childhood, along with a worldwide set of console variants in the Nintendo 64 collection. Well, that box, unfortunately, I do not have from my childhood. It was actually destroyed in a flood that we had back in the day growing up with my grandparents and that box got damaged. So unfortunately, I had to throw it out. So over however many years of collecting all of these video games, I have not been able to find a box just for sale since I already have the console. Now, with everything going up in price due to the COVID and just around this time of these people around my age actually getting older, having money to blow and just buy Nintendo 64 items, GameCube items, that seems to be the new trend where everything is just skyrocketing in price. Well, I have not been able to find just a Jungle Green Donkey Kong Nintendo 64 box so hopefully this year I can find one and hopefully I don't have to pay several hundred dollars for one. So that is definitely on my list and that is one item that I desperately need to find. I need to get it on display in my little Nintendo 64 area. So hopefully we can go ahead and do that this year. So next up, this next item, I have been watching forever on eBay and I'm not sure why I didn't just pull the trigger and go ahead and buy this item. This is a Sonic the Hedgehog store display light. Now it also has this dry erase board on it so that you could put coming soon and other messages. And it has this really awesome neon light on there as well. Now they had one on eBay for several years and it was only a few hundred dollars. It did have a little bit of damage to it and it didn't stand upright, but I'm sure that I could have modified it. And it's much larger than what the picture actually showed. And when I went to go look at it again and finally pull the trigger, I noticed that it had sold. So now I am still looking for one of those lights. I'm not sure why I didn't pull the trigger on it, but hopefully holding out, I can find one much cheaper, one that's in much more better condition, that has every piece to it, one that is not fully damaged or anything like that. So hopefully I can find that this year as I would love to add more Sega items in the collection. I love that Sonic the Hedgehog store display light that I have from the Genesis era. That thing is just so beautiful and I would love to have another Sonic the Hedgehog item. So that is next up on my list. Now of course this next item, I'm not too set on any particular item of this, but I would love to have one of those World of Nintendo store display cabinets. Something that you could just showcase all of your expensive games in, something that just has lights in it, that has all of the shelves, it has the glass, 
and maybe World of Nintendo era, but I know that those run between three and five thousand dollars, depending on which particular size and style that you get. Now, I would also love pretty much any type of Nintendo one, either also maybe Sega or PlayStation. I would just love pretty much any store display cabinet that I could find, something that could really add to this game room. I have an area that I would love to just add all of these cabinets to, maybe find one or two of them, and hopefully I can find that within this next year. Now, of course, I don't want to spend that much money, so I'm hoping that I can find one on the cheaper end side, maybe score one for such a great deal, or maybe trade a few items to go ahead and get there, because that is something that I would just love to have, as I do have that pretty awesome Sega Genesis store display cabinet, the one from Walmart where you have the 12 new releases on the front. You could flip and read the back of the box art, and then you can go ahead and ask one of the employees. They would open up the big store display cabinet, and then they could get the others. But that one does not have any glass. That one really doesn't have a lot that you can see. Everything's kind of tucked away behind the scenes over there. So I would love to have something just to showcase, have some lights on it, and just really have some of these amazing items on display in the collection. Now, on to another pretty cool item. So I would love to pretty much find any more of those promotional video game apparel jackets or t-shirts that I see out there all the time. I see tons for the World of Nintendo era style. I also see those really awesome Nintendo Power jackets, those Nintendo Counselor jackets, and just all of those. I've seen some pretty spectacular ones for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Just some of those would just be so awesome to add, as I have quite a few of Nintendo, Sega, Atari, and just other really awesome and vintage promotional jackets some really cool employee jackets that I've gotten from Sega employees themselves. So I would just love to keep adding to the game apparel collection and just keep adding to that. So hopefully I can find some more video game apparel jackets. Hopefully it's something that I'm really passionate about and hopefully I can find them for some amazing deals as I have found in the past, like that Star Fox weekend challenge style jacket that I have. That thing has just went up in price. It's just so difficult to find. And some of these jackets you just pay hundreds and thousands of dollars for. So hopefully I can find another great one for such a great deal and just add another to the collection. Now on to the next item. I would love to add another video game kiosk to the game collection. Now, I'm actually cheating on this one right now, and I will actually have another video game kiosk coming soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that video, as I am scoring that hopefully today as I'm filming this. So this will actually be probably a week or so before you see an update video on that, because I'll have to kind of get caught up on some things, as I am changing so much in the game room, prepping for that game room tour, and just adding a lot more. But other than the kiosk that I'm picking up, which is of course new gen, I would love to have another older style video game kiosk in the collection. I think I have about 16, soon to be 17 now in the game collection. And I would love to have maybe a Sega Genesis, a Sega Saturn, or a Super Nintendo, a Pokemon Snap Station, Blockbuster kiosk. I would love to have pretty much anything that I don't have. So hopefully this year brings some great luck as in 2020, I added quite a few to the game collection. Like I added that original Xbox kiosk in my game collection. I also completed my Xbox 360 kiosk, added some more parts to it, and I'm desperately looking for some additional parts to the PlayStation 3 kiosk. And I even added a TV and some other items to my Nintendo Switch kiosk. So hopefully I can keep on that path, keep on that journey, and just add some more amazing items to the game collection. And then on to another item on my list. I would love to have room for another arcade machine. So of course, if you see my game room tours, you've seen those arcade update videos that I do, you'll know that in my house, in the game room, in the little arcade room with the kiosks, I have Carnival, which is an amazing, horror style light gun game. I also have Virtua Cop 2, which is another light gun game. Both of those are two player light gun games. And I even have Crisis Zone, 
that time crisis action with the foot pedal, the machine gun, and it's single player, but it's a lot of fun. I would love to add either a House of the Dead arcade machine because that is another great horror style arcade machine. It's one that I don't see pop up very often and it holds its value because it's so much fun. I'd maybe love to add that one or some sort of racing arcade as I had to unfortunately get rid of the Nicktoons racing arcade machine that I had because it broke during the move and when I had the guy come out and fix the Carnival arcade machine he wasn't actually able to mess around with the Nicktoons racing arcade just because it had so much going on in there with the computer it wasn't just a typical board and just a typical fix it probably would have cost a bit too much so I would love to have some sort of sit down racing action maybe some sort of Sega style like maybe Crazy Taxi that's always a great one that's one that also holds its value and it's just so much fun I love playing it on the Sega Dreamcast kiosk that I have and it would be amazing to have a sit down racing style arcade or even a Neo Geo style arcade machine that I could just put like 128 or so in one on one of those MVS carts and just play tons of those fighting beat em up style games just some really amazing and fun games that I love like the Metal Slug series I just love all of those styles so maybe something like that or even maybe a Mortal Kombat some sort of Street Fighter or something where I could just play against people and just beat them up or even a four player Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle arcade style machine that would just be amazing of course not those arcade one-ups I would want some of the originals just something else I can take over my garage and add tons more arcades in there and then next up I would love to have a pinball machine now this is something that I'm not too familiar about I don't really even know how to do the work on them. I know that they have so much maintenance that you need to do with these pinball machines. The newer ones are $8,000 or more. Some of the older ones still hold their value, but I would maybe love some sort of Space Invaders with that dark feel to it. Still keep it video game related. Super Mario Brothers or even Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Batman. I would just love something like that to have some really awesome pinball action going on anytime that i go to those arcades i just love playing the pinball machines and they are just so much fun so hopefully this year i can finally find one even if it's just one of those older ones to kind of get introduced into and just add that to my little arcade that i'm trying to expand on and grow in the garage so hopefully i can find that let me know if there's any that you would recommend in the comments below some that are just so entertaining, so much fun, and maybe ones that I should stay on the lookout for if I'm not trying to spend an arm and a leg on one. Now, of course, on to another item. So this one is kind of different. I would actually love to complete another set of video games. So I have a couple full complete sets of items now, like the Nintendo 64 set. I have a complete loose cartridge set of games. I even have tons of variants, tons of different variants for other regions. I have so many different style games and that is just something that I loved working on and I just had so much fun trying to complete the set. And then of course when I went through, which I haven't filmed this video just yet, so this will be coming up so I don't want to ruin the surprise. But this next item when I went ahead and finished this full game set as well I was just so excited so thrilled I found all of them local I found all of them complete and I just couldn't believe it as it was something that is a little bit less common so make sure you guys stay tuned for that video as I will have a definite surprise on there and I just can't wait to share that with you guys so maybe finishing the Vectrex I only need a handful more games for that even though I do have some of those all-in-one cartridges that play all of the different games, I'd still like to have a full tangible set of those games, just have the full game set so that I can pop them in anytime with the overlays and just play. Also 32X, I don't need too many more of those, but the most expensive one is that Spider-Man Web of Fire for the 32X. I only made a few of those games I think it was a little bit over a thousand or 1500 or something that they made 
So there's not very many, and I would love to find that complete. I just don't want to pay top dollar for it. Or maybe even the Atari Jaguar. I have seen a lot of those games recently, so I'm trying to complete that set as well. And then up to the final two items. I would love to add another video game banner to the game collection. Of course, Mortal Kombat and Star Fox for that Super Nintendo Genesis style error would be ideal. They're just different style banners than those little vinyl banners that I have all over the game room and all in the collection. I would love to have those two or just one of them this year. So hopefully I can find one for such a great deal and I can make a pretty awesome score and just add one of those to the game collection. I could maybe even put the Mortal Kombat one in my game room upstairs where I have all of those Mortal Kombat figures. I have that signed cartridge for the Super Nintendo, that signed fight stick for the Super Nintendo. Just tons of amazing Mortal Kombat items just in my collection. There's statues, figures, toys, everything else. So maybe I could add that up there or the Star Fox. I could add that on display with that pretty amazing Star Fox weekend challenge little jacket that I scored. So maybe something like that could happen. So on to number 10, I would love to add this item. This is probably the least expensive item, probably one that I will find this year. So I would love to add a Panasonic 3DO light gun into the game collection with tons of those light gun games for that system. That is a system that I have recently started playing over again and I am just hooked. I would love to really get a light gun for that system as I think they're around a hundred or a few hundred dollars on eBay, but I'm hoping that I can find one in person. I can score some more games for the system as I have completed several for the Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, and pretty much a lot of the other systems like the PlayStation 2 and I've gotten some for the original Xbox. So I'm just trying to add more of these light gun games in the collection so that I can play with some friends. So hopefully this list is something that is tangible this year. Maybe not all of it at once because some of these items are pretty hard to find. But with everything that I have found over the years, I really think that I can knock some of these heavy hitters off of this list this year. So let's hope that 2021 really pans out and I can find some amazing items, add some more beautiful and historical items in the game collection and just really get some things showcased and just get some more videos of these amazing scores and things like that. So if there's anything that you guys think I missed in this list, go ahead and drop a comment below and just let me know what are some items that you're looking out for, some items that you noticed that I have not had or shown or discussed in my videos, something that maybe you would like me to talk about in 2021 and something that maybe you think would look amazing in this game room. Maybe there's something that I've been missing and something that I need for this game room. So of course I would love to hear it in the comments below. So of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.